Congressman, um, this past week you heard former and current Capitol Police officers talk about the lack of communications with the FBI before the January 6th riots. Do you still feel vulnerable as a member of Congress when you walk into that building? Well, oddly enough, one of the uh, uh, devices that was uh, placed by one of the suspects was at the Republican uh, Club, which is literally uh, 20 feet from where I have my apartment. And I, it, every morning to walk over here now is pretty daunting. I say good morning to the National Guardsmen. The whole area is fenced off. And I think that key memo, which apparently was email rather than phone call, is pretty important here. The question being, why did those individuals not take that email seriously? The room that we're in right now, Ed and Janet, the magnificent table in this Ways and Means room, which is my office, it was against the door with Capitol Police here with their guns drawn. The door was about to bow. We were in the Capitol when the assault began. So I am very mindful of this. I think there are now a series of uh, obstacles trying to get into the Capitol. I hope that that changes very quickly, mm -hmm. but the security plan really has to become much more sophisticated. I want the fencing down. But you do feel uncomfortable at times when you walk into the building. I think it's gonna be that way for a while. Uh, I think that uh, what happened here on January 6th, for many of us who were that close to the events, when the uh, deputy sergeant of arms who was in this room with me, there were about seven of us, when she said, I would like you please to write down your names and your addresses, particularly where you're from, in case this goes off the rails. You, you, you are the, the chairman of the Powerful Ways and Means Committee, and, you, and I know Donald Trump is no longer president, but his Supreme Court delivered some bad news to him this week. His tax returns are now in the hands of a New York U.S. attorney. And, and, and as I mentioned, you try to get those returns. We're showing a picture here. You are on the left of the screen. You're to the president's right. And, and President Trump, I'm talking about. Are, let me just ask you flat out, because this was a fight that you were involved in. Are you still eager to see these tax returns? Well, I'm still in the fight, Ed. That's the better uh, answer. And that is that the case that I filed in the uh, Federal District Court of Washington that now sits before Judge McFadden, that is an ongoing case. That is not uh, stopped. I think that uh, regardless of what happens in the criminal matter in the uh, jurisdiction of New York, with the district attorney, that's separate from what I intend to stay with here. My request for the president's taxes comes under what is known as 6103 of federal law that says that the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee can ask for the taxes of any American citizen. We've had presidents back to Richard Nixon who have submitted their tax forms. And I am curious about the policy that is used by the IRS to monitor any president's tax forms. I want this case to proceed. I want Judge McFadden to offer a decision. I think he's waiting to see what happens with some of these other cases, but it's been two years now. So I'm ever so help hopeful that this case will make its way to the Supreme Court and the court will reaffirm the law that says the finance chairman of the Senate, chairman of the Ways and Means Committee in the House, they can request tax forms. Congressman Neal, it's always great to see you, sir. Thank you very much. By the way, you've had you've had both vaccinations. Is that right? What have you had? I've had both. Yes, yeah. I have. And are you two weeks beyond the second one? I'd like to think so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, with what happens here now and the pace of life in Washington and what happens every single day with the statistical data that's uh, pummeling these offices, I think I'm past the, the two weeks. That's an age consideration. You, you, you look great, sir. Thank you for your time. It's always appreciated. Thank you so always much. Always great to see the two of you. You know that. All right, Thank thanks you. again to Congressman Thank Richard you. Neal joining us from Washington, D.C.